Today I'm gonna to show you how to get your chest nice and open so that your chest muscles become elastic, you're able to grasp out wide and really have control of that motion. So what's happening here is that from computer posture, phone, uh, pressing motions, bench press, push-ups, most people have a caved in type of chest. Now it's not completely caved in, but it's tight here and it makes it hard to grasp out here. You wanna be nice and open and able to use that motion, especially in boxing, you want to be able to reach out as far as you can, MMA, sports like that. But in most sports, it's advantageous to have length and strength and make this elastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is pretend that this elastic is my pec. Here is my pec insertion into my humerus. It's coming down here. So it's pulling like this as I come back. So I want to treat it like that. I want to treat it like an elastic that's going to allow me to recoil and come back. I want to work that recoil. So with a pair of three pound dumbbells, I go up to 10 at max. So threes today, what I'm gonna do is bend into a hip hinge, kind of like a deadlift, okay? And what I'm gonna do is have my thumb up as I come up and really feel the stretch into my pec and then allow that to recoil down, okay? This looks kind of like a golf swing, but it's made to increase the elasticity and give it some stimulus to become elastic again make pecs elastic again okay so basically i'm gonna turn like this the other arm comes with this is opening up recoil helps me go in the other direction okay i could go pretty fast with this but i need to turn my thumb up i can also add in turning my heels and as always keep the outside edge of your foot around the fourth and fifth metatarsal so it looks just like this, okay? And I could do it in a more upright position, just like this, it looks like that. Okay, this would be the more advanced version, but to start out, all you wanna do is at least add these to your in-between bench press with really light weight so you can get that, feel what it's like and have your nervous system understand that these need to be elastic and you need to be able to grasp in real life. Okay, we don't want to be tight. We want to be nice and open and loose. And again, in boxing, you can see that that's advantageous. I could keep going because I'm using the elasticity of this part of my pec to help me out. Okay, give that a shot. Let me know how it goes.